Hello, it's John Webb, scottishsci-fi.co.uk or scottishsci-fi.com and you can follow me on Twitter at DVD blog and friend me on Facebook, Instagram, other social media outlets. Okay, um, welcome, whiskey review time. Uh, we're in the, the potential for um, a bit of an apocalypse, so why not, I don't know if you can see that, do a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> zombie themed whiskey um the zombies aren't kicking off yet just in case they might be by now i mean i don't know when you're watching this but um it probably wasn't related to coronavirus which is the current um critical situation that we're in but anyway i don't do politics i don't do uh news i do whiskey so um we've got here a rather nice bottle of whiskey uh, which was bottled by the Dusties. Now the Dusties, and every time I say it, I'm going to say it that way. The Dusties are uh, is a group of whiskey nerds. Um, it's a whiskey club sort of thing, but it's headed up by a by a uh, a dude, a proper dude uh, called Dan Bovey. Hello, mate. All right. Um, and he arranges these flicking amazing whiskey tastings. Um, at Hyde & Co, um, and uh, pff, uh, they're, they're, I, I, I do. So I run some whiskey tastings. So I, I co-run some like a whiskey sort of like uh, tasting group and all that kind of stuff. Um, and his tastings are pretty, pretty damn good, in all fairness. Um, uh, they're usually around dusty bottles, hence the name Dusties. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've tasted some absolutely fantastic things uh, amazing like untouchable things things that you'll never do again um massive runs of fish bottlings massive runs of art big special editions massive runs of chichi booze and all the rest of it we've got some flipping amazing stuff coming up um hopefully we'll get through it uh to to uh to make it to the tastings otherwise if it if it's looking pretty bad down in all fairness i think we should crack open a bottle of those uh a few of those brewers and uh you know stuff and just get it done with if it's looking like end of days proper yeah just get it done mate what are you gonna do i'll bring some uh not brewer i ain't got any brewer anyway um <laughs> that was a sigh of i wish i did anyway let's get back to the whiskey shall we right uh, so, so yeah, so uh, this was bottled by the Dusty's group. Uh, it's a independent bottling, obviously, of um, a Glenlossy. That's a 10-year-old, ten, ten sorry, I know this, but I'm checking now. It's a 10-year-old Glenlossy, uh, which is space Side distillery. It's, it's, uh, Glenlossy is one of those ones that doesn't have an awful lot of uh, foothold in the marketplace. Um, uh, does it have an official bottling at the moment? I mean, it had a flora and fauna, I believe, but um, did it? Now I'm questioning myself. What's going on with flora and fauna? Oh my god! I really should do my research before I switch bloody record on. Um, but yeah, there's not an awful lot of it. Mostly it's in the independent markets, and quite frankly, a lot of it's really, really nice. Um, it's quite a fruity, light um, spirit to begin with, so uh, it takes really well to to any length maturation. Quite frankly, uh, this one's a ten year old. It's in a bourbon hogshead. If you want to be geeky about it, it's cask number 6433. Sorry, I need glasses. Uh, it was distilled in 2009, bottled in 2019. There's only 120 bottles of it. It's bottled at cask strength, non chill filtered, natural colour at 52.4%. And it's got a bloody lovely label as well. Look at that zombie. As you can tell, I like zombies. Zombies are cute. That is such a cool label. It's worth having for the label itself. Retails at around £80, which isn't cheap, in honesty, but a proportion of this is going to charity and all that kind of thing. And it's, uh, you know what, it's... It, it, well, I'll get to the whiskey now. Here's one I poured earlier. It's delightfully fresh and fruity. But there's some depth to there as well. You know, it, it's it's been in a really good cask. I mean, the colour of it, you wouldn't actually think for 10 years in a bourbon cast it had come out with that kind of colour and you know it has it's uh it's an active cask but that doesn't mean it's drowned it. It, it you know it's not drowned it with bourbon it's not a crazy woody monster it's 
now I'm starting to think of things to say which are kind of like zombie it's dusty it's dusty bit of rotting flesh no it isn't it isn't <laughs> it's incredibly fruity it's a massive fruit basket of a dram very summery lots of apples lots of orchard fruits lots of just everything is it's a proper complex fruit bomb there's a bit of vanilla probably it's just really it's so fruit concentrated it's it's just it's right up my street on the nose I, i'm into like fruity whiskies at the moment I, i've kind of sherry's taken a bit of a back step smoke's still up there but but these kind of like real proper fruit basket drams are my bag right now and this is no exception also it's a little bit of like dunnage warehouse it's a bit of that kind of like dusty oaky kind of background that you get when you go into a warehouse full of casks it's just got that kind of atmosphere about it it's fantastic big okay it comes after layer and layer and layer of flavour so it's initially a massive fruit blast. You get a little bit of a hit from the ABV then. And then it just bombards you time after time with loads of fruit blasts. You've got a little bit of bourbon -y kind of vanilla notes in there. It's more fruit, fruit, different fruit. It's so much coming through. I've got to get another bottle of this. Oh, it's big, rambunctious. It's just kicking you in all the tongue parts, you know what I mean? A rude something came to mind. I'm not going to say. There might be children watching. Hello, kiddies! <laughs> there are actually kids that watch my videos. But it's not meant for kids. Alright, just make that clear, because YouTube... All right, it's not meant for kids. So, James, if you're watching, hi. All right, do what your dad and mum tells you. Yeah, Jamie, if you're watching, same thing. Adam, Scott, same thing. Yeah, look at, look after your parents and all the animals, and look after yourselves. Watch yourselves out in this time of trouble and strife with all the germs out there. Stay self isolated. Play video games. Right, sorry. <laughs> Back to real life. Okay, um, it's fantastic. I love this drum. Right, try to get more descriptive. Initial hit. You get the apples, apple fruits, and then the orchard stuff. Then a little bit of heat, and that side steps. And then you get the bourbony, vanilla, kind of oaky notes come through. And then the fruit remingles back in. It's just waves, waves of flavour. Finish wise, goes back to more of the vanilla, oak, and that just that hint of old fruit basket in the background. Sorry if that doesn't match with people's tasting notes and beliefs, but yeah, that's 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 what it's like. Uh, put a little bit of water in. last little drop made all the difference um obviously in an ideal world let us sit let us settle take your time i haven't got time you haven't got time not stay here you'll be asleep by now <laughs> if you like this video subscribe or sub it press like if you don't like it why are you still here right With a touch of water, fruit is taking a step back. It's still there, it's dustier. I, I hate saying that because it's not uh, its not even subconscious that the dusties is how I would describe it. It's dustier, it's more warehousey, it's 
So there's a lot of fruit there, but it's kind of got mustier and kind of older, overripe. It's a proper old fruit basket. Proper old fruit basket. Mm. Wow, there's so much flavour in this. Could probably even have more water. It's delicious. Okay, less of a bite from the ABV with a bit of water, obviously. That gives more access to the gentler waves of varying fruit and vanilla oak kind of effect. Bloody lovely. It's not a quaffer. This is a thinker. It's also a quaffer. It's a it's it's swings both ways. Um it's a great intense dram. I tell you what, this would be really good for summer as well because it's got enough light, summery, fruit and floral kind of notes. I've not really said floral till now, but I'm now I'm thinking a hint of floral in there as well, and now it's had water. But it's got all that kind of stuff going on, which actually would work very well in a warmer climate. But we ain't gonna get it, it's just gonna pee down all year. Um, it's all right, yeah. Two thumbs up, very good. Now, where'd you get it? Now, this is a big question. God, I hope you're hanging around to find out about this. Okay, so you get it. I'll put this in the description as well, just in case, because it's kind of exclusive. Uh, exclusive to our Dusty's group, but in addition to that, um, you can also get it from Independent Spirits of Bath, which is a rather nice little place to go to. It's a very good beer, wine, and whiskey store in Bath. Um, rather nice people running it as well. Hey, Chris. And the other guys, Nathan and Fra. Fra. Oh God, Christian, Christian? Is it Christian? Oh God, sorry, oh my God. Whoever, the other bloke. Um, <laughs> sorry, oh dear, oh no. I'm not recording it all again, oh. Um, language. Anyway, so it's very nice. Um, yeah, so you can get it from them, uh, Independent Spirits of Bath. It's not a website, it's a store. You'll have to go there or you have to phone up. It does do mail order, yes. Um, 80 quid, I'm getting another. It's bloody good. It's really bloody good. Anyway, okay, 13 minutes, I'll do. Um, far too long, as usual, sorry. Uh, I talk. I'm full of it. Mm. Stay safe out there. It's a jungle. It's full of germs and stuff. Oh, now the cat's coming to say hello. Hello, Tally. You right, mate? Do you want to see Tally, Scar? If you made it this far, you deserve to see some pussy action. You got a shitty bum? No, you haven't, good. This here is my Tally Scar. Tally Scar. Say hello, Tally Scar. Do not call me. Say hello, Tally Scar. Say hello. That was Tally Scar. Cheers for now.